the astronomical number, Todd, of uh, people crossing the border right now uh, means that the Border Patrol is uh, no longer effective. They've been scaled way back. Their jobs have been diminished. Um, they're, they're really completely bullied by this uh, government, this regime in control right now. And that opens the door to potential crossings by terrorists who get by undetected and also cartel activity. Drugs, guns, human slavery, human trafficking, uh, child sex slavery. Uh, Todd, this influx of well-meaning illegals makes way for the really bad people to do really bad things, doesn't it? When this thing really gets underway, uh, when Title 42, I think it's already underway, uh, yeah, you will yeah. see, yeah, you will see, I mean, look, Title 42 is not even being used now. They can't use Title 42 because they're too overwhelmed and swamped to use it. So Title 42 is effectively over now. Uh, so, you know, they're saying March or May 23rd, uh, it's already over in uh, certain areas of the border. But uh, when it gets that over, they are issuing humanitarian paroles uh, to everyone and anyone and just letting them free. And that's a recipe for everybody gets in, no matter who you are or what you did. We will never be able to check you. We will never be able to run your fingerprints. We won't be able to, to uh, see if you're on an FBI terrorism watch list. We won't be able to call anybody back in um, wherever the Hondurans to see what your criminal history was or if the Venezuelans uh, let you out of their jails, as I'm being told uh, is happening, or the Mario uh, airlift that I just wrote about from Cuba, which is just now getting started. Uh, did they release them all from prison? We won't know any of that once this thing really uh, becomes border wide. And uh, I think that, that that is going to be a second, third, fourth order consequence as, we, uh, as time goes by and we start to uh, realize who we have.